You know, we, we've got to execute and manage better on offense, off, obviously. Defense, we've got to, you know, keep doing what we're doing. And I was impressed with the way we tackled on defense tonight for the first scrimmage. I, I thought the tackling was excellent. Uh, you know, our defensive coaches, Ty and Leon and, and Eric and Lange, work on tackling every single day. And it was evident that I think we're going to be a pretty good tackling football team. On the offensive side, a, a, a lot of inconsistency, but, but that's going to happen a little bit. Bit. You know, we've got four young quarterbacks who, who are in the process of, of becoming very, very good football players, all four of them, but it's going to take a little bit of time. Now, we don't have a lot of time, so we would expect a huge improvement just in management and execution between tonight and, and next Saturday, and we'll see that. I'm confident we'll see that. So, you know, overall, uh, no turnovers other than the very last interception on the last play of the, of the scrimmage, and I shouldn't say only one's two too many, but uh, you know that's good stuff when that happens. When you're not turning the ball over, I, I like the way Dan Moore run on short yardage. I think Caleb Walden had some excellent runs tonight. You know he's our number, whatever three four. But every time he's on the field, he makes things happen. And obviously, you know I have a real soft spot in my heart for Kevin Berland and Cam Warren. Every time you throw the ball to him, they catch it, and, and that's good stuff. So overall, enthusiasm, energy, you know 100 percent execution, management and that type of stuff probably you know C minus and we've got to be A plus so we'll work on that but it's a lot easier for our coaches to coach when guys are doing what you ask them to do and doing it as fast and as hard as they can go. Uh, I really like starting with Trent uh, you know you can tell obviously he's going to be a real nice uh, runner he runs read zone real well and, and I think Trent probably throws better than most people think. Now, you know, he'll get a little, Coach Rosie will have him a little bit more tuned in to, you know, some of his pre-snap reads and reads and stuff, but, you know, uh, he's just overall a very athletic quarterback who's only going to get better and better. Uh, Shea, you know, as always, is a real smart kid. Uh, he has to speed up the process a little bit, you know, as to, you know, just his reactions to what's happening. He knows everything that's happening now. He's just got to be able to pull the trigger a little bit quicker. And then, you know, Adam only having been here a week, I think did some real good things. Uh, he panicked a little bit a couple times, but, you know, they're going to do that. And then I, I'm real impressed with Brady Gustafson for a true freshman. He has got a lot of composure, you know, being 6'7", he stands in there. And he managed the offense pretty well for, you know, being here a week. So you take the four quarterbacks, obviously Trent is a little bit ahead right now, I believe, just because of his athleticism and, and you know, uh, that type of stuff. We tell them that, you know, this is a test. Uh, obviously, you know, we get tested every Saturday for hopefully 15 weeks and plus three scrimmages in the pre-fall and, and, and a couple in the spring. And, you know, tonight was a test. We have to find, you know, some twos and two and a halfs. And, and I think we're starting to do that. I like what some of our, our number two offensive linemen are doing. I really like what some of our number two defensive linemen and secondary backs are doing. Steve Rominger, you know, our corners, there's four guys there, and, and I think some real good things are starting to happen there with Sean Murray and, and uh, Josh Denard and, and Nate Harris and uh, Chief Goodwin. I think all four of those guys are doing some really good things, and then you know, Bo Tully's playing better than he ever has. Matt Hermanson's picked up where he was, and Steve Romninger's had a real good week. Uh, actually, Jacob Coogan, I think, had a couple big hits tonight, you know, and he's learning the process, but he come up and, and made a couple nice hits tonight. So, you know, we're starting to find those younger kids. We have to have probably 30 kids that can play and, and, and play well enough for us to win.